Today we're going to be doing a really quick review of this Orico SSD. Specifically, this is the J10 and this is a 3.0 NVMe SSD. And I do have to mention that they did send this out to me for this review. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing part and take a look at what comes inside the box. So the packaging is pretty simple. We're just going to pull up there. We're going to carefully slide this out the bottom preferably above a table so it doesn't drop on the floor. So immediately on the bottom here, we have a little user manual just in case you guys need some help. And this is in a plastic case, so it actually can't fall out, at least easily. All right, so we just took off the top and here's the actual NVMe drive. I'm gonna set this to a side. We have a few more things in here. We have a little radiator and two of these little thermal conductor pads. Just make sure that you guys take the little plastic piece off before you guys stick them on your SSD. We also have this little metal piece. This actually helps attach this to the SSD. So this is what they call a snap fit. So you just push it on and it'll kind of pinch it and hold the radiator onto place, even if it's mounted on the side of your motherboard. So it does come in an anti-static bag, which is a nice touch. And this is what the SSD looks like. There's not much to see here. There are stickers on the actual chipsets, but overall it looks like a pretty good design and you guys should be able to see the notch layout. So now we're gonna plug this into a little NVMe holder that they actually sent out to me as well. Then we'll be able to make sure that this thing actually reads on my PC. Now we're gonna use that little thermal pad that they gave us in the radiator and just stick it right on top. Now we're just gonna close things up and basically all we have to do for that, we set this slightly off to the side and then push it together. Now it's all locked in place. We'll use the USB-C that they gave us and we're just gonna make sure that we hear our computer recognize this device. Go ahead, check that it's showing up in my files. All right, so the computer immediately recognized it, which is always good. So now we're gonna go to the disk management tab and right here we can see that there's actually a new disk. So that's what I'm talking about right there. Basically, we're just gonna press okay. Now we're gonna go to the disk and we're gonna create a new simple volume. We're gonna go through all of these, just press next, finish, and now we have the drive right here. So just like that, we could see the drive, 476 gigabytes of 476 gigabytes free. So anyways, that's just my really quick review of this Oracle SSD. 